Hi guys, thanks again for watching. I'm back with another Thrive video and this time I think I have everything I need for a full face. And um, I just wanted to play with makeup today so that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna really talk through each thing because I have done another video with Thrive but um, I just love this brand so much and I think everything that they produce is really high quality and if you know anything about the brand it's a one for one. So if you buy something, then they donate something to a woman in need. So I, it's hard not to support it and I just love all their products. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do full face using Thrive. Let's jump in. Okay, if you can see um, my shelf right here or the counter, I guess it's called. <laughs> it's just all teal blue Thrive, which is awesome. And what I'm going to start out with first is the Buildable Blur, which is their CC cream. I've done videos about this in the past, so I will link that above. This stuff is incredible. It's a little higher coverage than I typically go for, but if my skin is not doing well, this is it. It lasts all day. I absolutely love it, and it is something that I stick by and I'm not changing my mind on at all. So today I'm going to be doing light coverage because I just don't want to wear like a full face. Um, even though I'm doing a full face, but you know what I mean. I'm not going to do high coverage of anything. So I'm just going to start squirting some out in my hand and then go in um, dabbing it on and then we'll probably use a sponge. And this shade for me, I think it comes in 16 shades. I will post if it's not, if I have that number wrong, um, but this shade for me is just it gives me kind of like a little bit more of a tan, especially in the winter when I don't. But even in the summer, it pretty much matches me perfectly, which is fabulous. Okay, this is not a Thrive sponge, but it looks like it, so that's why I chose it. That's the one thing, well not the one thing, I don't have everything from them. I've kind of bought stuff over time, but I don't have the sponge. So whatever, I'm not gonna buy it just to have it. Just to stick with Thrive, I'm trying really hard not to use any other brands today. So I'm going to use the Buildable Blur as kind of a concealer, and I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. So maybe brushes and sponges, like tools, I don't have, so I have to use other stuff. But you know, if you have Thrive brushes and if you have the Thrive Sprints, blah, sponge, by all means, use it. So under eye, and then I have quite red and like veiny un, um, eyelids so I always try to cover those. So this brush is incredible and I like to hold it a little bit further down and kind of like lightly twirl. Um, I think Katie Jane Hughes uses this. Um, I think Shelby Wilson. It's kind of like an everyday light foundation, light coverage girl's best friend. You can use this brush. Honestly, I can just go over my whole face and kind of like go over where I went with the sponge because it works so well. And it just helps you get a really nice light coverage without building up too much. So, looks beautiful, glowy. Next up is the Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. Um, I haven't used this in a while just because I don't really, I haven't been using as much setting powder. But what I'm going to do is take my wet sponge today and go into the top and kind of use this as like a light bake. And I think, look at that. Look at how much it blurs it out, but also sets it. This side is glowy, this side is matte. So this stuff is really great. I think. If you're going to reach for a powder, um, I would reach for this. It's a little bit pricier than some, but it does the job really well. I'm really not getting a ton on the sponge, if you can see. Um, and I'm going to go on my T-zone. I used to have dry skin, and I have been slowly inching more toward normal. Um, and I think that is a result of 
the skincare that I've been using, which is homemade. I'm in a formulating class, so I've been making my own skincare. All of it is like by the books. It's not just like the DIY stuff. Like I preserve it. I, I use high quality organic ingredients and my skin has been dramatically better. Now, we will see how it goes in the winter because of course it's drier in the winter, but I'm hoping, I think it's gonna do really well. Anyway, so look at how beautiful this set my face and not like in a baking way. Um, I also always set my eyelids just because I feel like out of all the places, that's actually where a lot moves around more for me. Okay, next up we have blush. I actually don't have bronzer, but that's just because I don't really use bronzer a lot. I have a darker, I mean now it's pale, but I have kind of darker skin tone, more, I guess medium skin tone. And I just, it's not like, I don't need it. I'm not like the pale girl who wants all the bronzer, but I do like some blush. So this one is the Cosmo Powder in Angelina. And it looked a bit red kind of to me, but the other one was very pinky. So I went with this one and I actually like it pretty well. And I've used it on my eyes as well. So I'm just gonna kind of do a very light wash. So on the camera, it may actually look a little bit like more intense than it is, but if you do find that it's looking kind of, ooh, a little crazy, take a big fluffy blending brush. Well, it's not a blending brush, it's a facial brush. And kind of just, making lots of noises today. I'm also wearing two kinds of camo. Um, this is for my gym, I do CrossFit, and then if you can see my legs, oh, there we go, ah, those are from Fabletics, so I'm all camoed out, and I love it. The next thing I have, which I am the most excited about, is this Focus Eyeshadow Palette. This is number three, and I just got this in the mail on Friday. And it comes in these four brown shades. This was just a little sheet. It tells you where to put everything. Prime, lid, intensify, and contour, which is cool. Um, and so I'm just gonna do a little eye look and maybe talk you through it. So the first shade I'm gonna use is this kind of very white one, which is, I think they said prime. So, and they are quite powdery, I would say. Um, you, I actually just saw like the dust fly up, so keep that in mind. But I do think that you have to build them up more than some maybe really pigmented shadows. So I'm just priming my eyes like they said. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can tell, but in the pan, this one is kind of more like a fawn light brown. This one's got more of a red tinge and this one is really like a true brown but also kind of pulls warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this and just kind of do over um, in the crease of my eyes and we'll see how that looks. I'm not doing a full look, I don't do that. This is what I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've never used this before, so you're learning with me. And it does come off quite pigmented on the brush. So just kind of start with a little and then you can add it, build it up. And I actually just lost my MAC 263 brush, which is an angled liner brush. And I found this one, which is the Elf Smudge Brush. The Elf Smudge Brush. And I actually really like it. Um, it kind of does exactly what it says, smudge with the brush. Go figure. I usually just do it more on the outer part of my eye. Um, and then you can bring it in a little bit, but I don't go all the way. Okay, and then I have the Brilliant Eye Brightener, and this one is in the shade Emma. It's kind of a coppery, bronzy color. And I think I'm going to, let's just try the inner portion.
And then I'm going to use my finger just to kind of blend it into the rest of it. And this is so easy, it's like you can't mess it up. I just use my finger to kind of blend it into the rest of the shadow. It's pigmented, but it's not like you're going to see like a stroke here and not a stroke there. So it's easy to blend. And then I'm going to take my other Brilliant Eye Brightener in Stella, which is more of a champagne-y light color. And I'm going to use it on the inner corner and actually go into my waterline. And I forgot, I'm going to do a little bit on my lower lash line with the back with this light brown shade. Um, even though I already did the Brilliant Eye Brightener down there, it's okay if everything just blends together. So I really like the Brilliant Eye Brightener in your waterline. And you don't have to worry, it's an ophthalmologist tested, so it's not going to irritate your eye. So it's safe for eye use. That's cool. Now, of course, the star of the show is our Liquid Lash Extensions, the mascara. This was the first star product I got, and it will be one that will always be in my collection. I have a whole video on it. I will link it above, but this is just, you can't go wrong with it. Okay. Oh, I forgot one thing. The lips. So this is the Khaki Eye... Nope, it's not eyeliner. I think it's called lip liner. And this is kind of a mauve brown. It's beautiful. And I'm going to just use it on the edges to kind of um, contour my lips. And then next up is the... This is Eileen, I forget, it's just the regular lipstick. And if I can get it up, it's a beautiful shade. So I would say it's like my lips, but better, a lot better. All right, so this is the final look. Um, the lipstick I might not do on an everyday basis, and you know, it's just up to you, but it definitely ties it all together, and I, I feel super beautiful, and I love Thrive. Um, the only thing, that I'm waiting for is a concealer from them. I know they just came out with the eyelid primer and they say that you can use it under your eyes as well. So I haven't got that. Hopefully I will soon, but I'm waiting on that concealer thrive. All right guys, so thanks again for watching and let me know what videos you wanna see. Um, I'd love to hear some comments and what you guys are thinking and I will see you in my next video. Bye.